boys and girls and God bless you. Good morning, Oscar, and God bless you. I'm designing a maze. What is your topic? My topic is mazes, and I'm trying to make a maze that can be easily assembled. What I'm using is plywood, which is $19 for one sheet. I'm also using brackets, with a, which are $5 each. And it comes to a total cost of $20,000 exactly. I'm trying to set it up on the school over. This will help the school get more people to enroll, as it is interesting for the students. What I have learned. I've learned that it's for making the school look good and for getting more people to enroll. I'm making one maze and it is very hard to get through. I like hard ones because I'm really good at mazes. I solve mazes like this. I put a pencil at the end and work my way around. I'm very good and I'm always open to try new ones. Some did you know facts? The earliest hedge major the earliest hedge hedge mazes were built to entertain royalty. In the 1980s, illustrator Christopher Manson announced a 10,000 prize would be given to the first person to solve his will and his maze better. Many of the earliest video games featured mazes. Number four, the world's largest hedge maze contains almost 2.5 miles of paths. Number five, the largest contemporary corn maze ever created spans 60 acres. I would maze. I'm making one maze that will be hard and big. I'll set it up on the Eastern Oval. I'm estimating it to be about as big as half the Eastern Oval. I'm going to have lots of dead ends and turnarounds. Because that, I will make it more challenging. I'm also including an emergency exit in case people will become scared when they're stuck inside the maze. I use cardboard to build my 3D model of the maze because it's strong and can withstand marble banging into it. It is also easy to attach with hot glue and there is lots of it available. My other one, which is the real life one, I will make with plywood and brackets. Because it is easy to set up, you, all you have to do is just screw in the brackets and screw the bracket into the plywood. Hedges take time to grow, hay is too easy to knock down, concrete is permanent and I don't want that. This is my sketch that I did in the rain for now, and I was very worried that I lost it for a bit and then I sort of found it again. That's my final design that I made. I've got the emergency exit up there, dead ends, one, two, three, and I've also got another dead end around here somewhere, but it's just too dark. Now we've got the exit and the entrance, and then this is the part where you can go around in a circle, and it's really, 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 really easy, but sort of it's hard. I was meant to do three main parts of the model, but I did five because I had a lot of them. Number one was the entrance, number two was the exit, number three was the emergency exit, number four was the dead ends, number five was the part where you can go around in a complete circle. Things that I found... Shush it, The things that I found difficult were doing the sketches, making the maze, doing the slides, and the things that I found easy were helping Cooper finish his maze. maze. Other than that, I... Love, found everything hard, but I love challenges. Thank you for listening. I think it's wonderful that you can help other people as well as do a fantastic job on your own piece as well. Can you stand next to your design? Now, I know there were a couple of things that were a little bit tricky, and um, I know one of that was doing the walls. Can you tell me what was tricky about doing the walls? Because sometimes when I tried to paint it and the glue hadn't set, I sort of knocked them over and had to do it again. <laughs> ah, but that's always good to learn, isn't it, as we go along. Let's give him a clap.